A Texas House committee heard testimony today on a proposed bill that seeks to dec decriminalize possession of small amounts of marijuana, lowering the penalties to the level of a traffic ticket. House Bill 548 is one of three marijuana friendly bills being considered this legislative session. Supporters say it's high time Texans reconsider their stance on pot. The night team's Tim Gerber breaks down the bills that many believe are nothing more than pipe dreams. This legislative session is probably the best chance that we've had in at least a decade just because of the fiscal crisis. Josh Schimberg believes the budget deficit is the key to getting pot friendly laws passed by convincing conservatives the war on pot is a waste. We need to stop spending money to lock up nonviolent drug offenders. Schimberg says 95% of the 70,000 Texans busted for pot possession in 2009 had less than an ounce on them. House Bill 548 reduces the penalty for possession of an ounce or less. Violators get a fine instead of jail time. You're looking in one year at somewhere in the range of 300. To 400 million dollars saved from those arrests. HB 1491 protects doctors who recommend pot to their patients and gives both an affirmative defense in court. It does protect patients, but it doesn't guarantee that patients won't be arrested. What we would like to see with the medical marijuana bill is, a, is something that protects patients from being arrested. Tim Timmons is a namesake of a bill that would legalize medical marijuana. It would be governed and it would be a significantly more stringent than uh, than what you see in California. His body ravaged by multiple sclerosis, Timmons smokes to relieve the pain. He plans to keep toking his medicine no matter what happens. It does allow me a, a degree of purpose every day knowing that this could help a few other people and and eventually it will pass in Texas. Right now, there is no organized vocal opposition to any of these bills, and it doesn't seem likely that there will be any because every piece of pot legislation that has been introduced in Austin has died in committee over the years. While supporters think this is the best chance they've had in quite a while, it's highly unlikely we'll see anything change this time around. Reporting live tonight, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.